Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, important methods in Matplotlib. That is X label, Y label, X ticks, Y ticks, X limit and Y limit. So these functions we'll see in this session. So what's the usage and where we can use these things. So for that, I will just create a, a small plot with the X and Y coordinates. So first I will import the pyplot module from the matplotlib matplotlib uh, from matplotlib import pyplot as plt i'm giving the plt as a function so here i'm giving see x is equal to i'm taking the coordinates so 10 comma 20 30 40 55 coordinates i have taken and y is equal to i'm taking some uh, another coordinate some 100 uh, 200 300 400 and 500 so I'm just plotting this one. So by using a plot, plt dot plot, use x comma y, and plt dot show will show the plot. See, so you'll get this plot. Okay, this is a graph. And here the function first one is a x label. So in order to give the label on x axis and y axis, we have to use a x label and y label functions. Plt dot x label. So here you have to give x axis so i am just explaining the functions so see plt dot uh, y label y axis right you can see see x axis and y axis we got a x axis here label and y axis label here okay now if you want to change the values here it is a 10 15 20 25 30 35 like this we need to change the values for this one okay this is called a ticks these are called as a ticks the ticks on x axis and the ticks on y axis if you change these values we have to use a x ticks function and if you change these values we have to change the y ticks function right now let us take the x ticks so plt dot x ticks function so inside the function take the arguments first these are the x representation row so x comma give the values new values i will give some a b c d e and if you execute you can see only five ticks the, the, the uh, I mean uh, whatever the ticks appeared before has been replaced with the given labels a b c d e okay similarly y ticks we can also change the y ticks okay so y and uh, give the labels for here so 0 to 100 next 100 to 200 so I'll give some labels, right? Some 200 to 300, 300 to 400, and finally 400 to 500, right? So if I execute, you can see the labels has been changed. It is at 0 to 200, 100 to 200, okay? 200 to 300, 300 to 400, and 400 to 500. So we can change the ticks so these are called ticks and these ticks with the given labels so for that we have to use the x ticks and y ticks function and inside the ticks function we have to use the two parameters one is the x values followed by the labels the new labels and the y values followed by the new labels so this is a ticks function and see in the absence of this one you can observe in the absence of this one we are having some values 10 to 50 now I just want to change the limit. I just want to represent from 10 to 100. So then use the limit function plt dot x limit x limit give the values 10 to 100. So you can observe here 10 to 100. The, the values have, have been changed from 10 to 100. And similarly, if you want to change the limit of y y axis plt dot y limit give the function right. So give the 100 right uh, some 200 to 
sorry uh, let it be 100 to 1000 right you can have 0 to 1000 because if you, if you take step 200 sorry if you take some 200 see some sort of line has been changed because so we are having the 100 okay point 10 hundred right so that's why we, we i will take a 10 to 1000 and i will show you so okay Ten to thousand, so that you will get from ten to thousand. The x, the y limit will be changed to ten to thousand, right? And also, we can use a plot. Uh, I mean, uh, this title, plt dot title. So here you can give the title. So demonstration of x limit, y limit, x ticks y ticks x label y label right so automatically it will give the heading here it will give the title here right so this is the usage of x label y label x ticks y ticks similarly x limits and y limits right so Hope you understood this one. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.